good day. Uh, indeed, we are still here in Hamanskral at Ganana village, uh, where we are told a number of uh, cholera cases have been uh, experienced. And uh, we actually have not been able to gain entry as yet inside the hospital as we are still waiting for the ministers. We understand that the deputy minister of uh, health as well as uh, that of water and sanitation will be visiting the area uh, together with uh, the uh, MMC uh, of health in Gauteng to assess uh, the situation here. We understand uh, that 12 people uh, have lost their lives and uh, 37 have been admitted uh, in the hospital, whereas uh, 95 have uh, been seen uh, for medical help. And yesterday we saw the officials of Tswane mayor uh, saying that, uh, or, or rather urging the residents not to use up tap water as uh, the outbreak response teams are still on the ground conducting surveillance monitoring and also uh, doing sampling uh, of the water. Uh, but just uh, here with me now is uh, Bongani Banda from uh, Dinosa. Uh, Bongani, thanks for being here. Uh, you've just been uh, uh, at a meeting with uh, the hospital management. Uh, tell us about it. Okay, uh, first maybe let me just indicate that the meeting is still ongoing. We haven't started as yet. We are just making the rounds just to see, to see the situation on how it is. And currently we are with the Deputy Minister, uh, Lomo, and then we'll be commencing with our meeting to engage on the issues that are affecting our nurses in this particular institution, specifically uh, around the issue of cholera that has affected this institution uh, or this particular place currently. Okay. And we've uh, actually uh, spoken to some of the residents here who are saying this, uh, you know, a dire situation. And actually, it shouldn't have come to this, you know, had uh, the officials headed to this uh, call uh, of, uh, you know, providing the, 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 the residents with a clean, drinkable water. Uh, is the staff inside the hospital coping uh, with uh, what is happening currently? Maybe before we get to the staff, let us address this issue that has been ongoing of water crisis. It is not something that gets to be, in, to, to be reported now, and we haven't learned about this situation right now. It's a thing that has been happening for the, the, the past years. And the concern that we are having currently is that if this situation was happening in waterproof as you speak, the question would be, would be facing the very same thing that we are facing today? And the answer is no. So now the concern is that the current the municipality that we are in currently, it is the very same municipality that is leading the, the water truth, is the very same municipality that is leading this particular area. So now you can check uh, the, the segregations and the treatment that is being rece received by the residents. It is uh, not equal in this particular arena. So another thing is the issue that currently we are facing of the nurses. They are overwhelmed, they are exhausted, and then it is quite... Um, Pertaining to can say on this particular issue because of every now and then the patients are coming, the casualties are full, the wards are full, and now they don't even know what needs to be done. And then it is not quite clear from the department, specifically on the neighboring institution, on what they're going to do for this particular nurses will be assisting in this institution. Because what we are saying and advocating for is what is that all those who are working currently they must also be considered and remunerated. We don't want to face the very same situation that we faced during the COVID because of when they are in dire need, that's when they remember us to come and execute our duties. But when they are supposed to give us incentives or to thank us or to acknowledge us, they then get to run away. So at this particular juncture, we are here to make sure that the commitments that are going to be engaging on are commitments that are going also to address the issues of the nursing who are executing their duties or, or healthcare providers at large who are executing their, their duties in this particular institution. Thank you so very much. Uh, that's uh, Bongani uh, uh, from uh, uh, Denosa. And at the present moment, we are actually uh, still outside of the hospital waiting for the delegation that will be uh, conducting a side visit in this area today.